black bear. See, he likes world peace. Good morning, ladies and gents. <clears throat> Let me start that over. <clears throat> Good morning, ladies and gents. It's your pal Motojet here. And if you can see that, it says 6.59 a.m. Who knew there was a 6.59 a.m. on a Saturday morning? But if I want to participate in the Sink the Planet, then I got to get going. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm fairly new to this, uh, this YouTube thing. Been riding bikes since 2008. I've only been riding my WR 250R since, since last summer. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, when I started watching YouTube, or, well, I watched it for a while, but once I start to watch it almost religiously, I, uh, it was last year around this time, and uh, maybe just before this, and I, I remember seeing all these Sink the Planet videos, and I was like, that's pretty cool. And uh, to be honest, it kind of made me feel like I wanted to do this. I wanted to, I wanted to be a part of this community, and, uh, you know, and participate and talk to people all over the world, everywhere. And uh, since I've been on, uh, yeah, it's it's been amazing. So, uh, for those of you who may or may not be aware, uh, Doc Man Rides. I've uh, watched your videos, man. Good, good show. And um, See, I've watched your videos, and uh, it's his, it's his uh, brainchild there that got this going. This is uh, Sink the Planet. So, right now at seven o'clock in the morning in Atlantic time. And by the way, I am in uh, Atlantic Canada. And you know it's early when there's not very many people at Tim Hortons. I am in Atlantic Canada, and that's uh, that's what we do. We we drink coffee and tea at Tim Hortons every day. The guy's a millionaire. Anyway. Besides the fact. So, <clears throat> yeah, Doc Ben Rides uh, from Ontario, Canada, another Canadian. Way to go, buddy. Uh, he came out with this, and there are people all over the world riding right now, and I am honored to be a part of this. Uh, it's 12 p.m. Paris time right now, which is 7 o'clock in uh, Atlantic time. And, uh, yeah, so people all over the world are riding right now from Australia, India, US, Europe, all over, everywhere. So yeah, this is uh, this is awesome. So what we do is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, every year there's a topic and uh, this year was deemed uh, world peace. So what, uh, so yeah, we just discussed world peace, our thoughts on it or any other topic that, uh, that uh, you know, is meaningful to you. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go for a ride and we'll, we will discuss it. At least the rain's held off. So yeah, we'll have a chat about that. Lots of rocks. Lots of soft sand. <laughs> I did not see that until the last possible second. Wow. <clears throat> this is deep stuff. Wow. Kind of walk. 
lock her up. So yeah, when I uh, when I first saw that the topic was going to be world peace, I thought, wow, this is this is huge. This is this is a big, big topic because. To be honest, my first thought was this is unobtainable. Like, uh, I mean, world peace, this is international, this is global stuff. This is, this is massive. But, just doing some thinking about it, and, you know, it's, it's not really that unobtainable. Because, This is really soft stuff. It's not really that unattainable. I mean, there are many, many organizations out there that are putting together frameworks for for this kind of stuff to obtain world peace and to stop world hunger. And uh, I, I, I mean, I. On a global scale, this is huge, but I think it's something that we have to scale back. It's not really, I and mean, it's hard enough to do anything with a large amount of people. But when you get, when you get a few people together and and they focus on one goal, they can make a difference. They can really make a difference. And I think it, what it boils down to is, it starts with you and me. It starts with us, the ones that, that have a voice that can make a change. And uh, it starts at home. I uh, it just so happened that on my personal Facebook page, I noticed somebody posted something about um, a quote from the Dalai Lama, and it said something about if if every eight-year-old started to meditate. And by the time they were adults, there would be no, no violence. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not a yoga, meditation kind of guy. But, hey, you gotta start small. You gotta start with the kids. Start with you and me. I think we can make a difference. If we start at home, if we start at home, we start in our own house, we start in our own communities, start our own regions then we get this idea going and then it can become uh, an issue in our state our province and eventually our countries and then we get our countries talking and, and, and we can actually make a difference.
nice little play area. But <sighs> world peace is such a huge issue. Uh, I, I'm not a I'm not a violent guy. I can hold my own. Good spot as any once that car passes. Well, that was fun. So, yeah, what I was going to try to say was. Uh, In my career, I, I've been trained to deal with violence, uh, how to combat it, how to overcome it, uh, but I'm not a violent person. Uh, I'd rather sit and talk with you uh, rather than punch you in the face. <laughs> Basically what it blows down to. Uh, so, I mean, it, but it all starts with every person individually. It can, uh, it can, it deals with your, your personal upbringing. Because, like, no two people are the same. And just because I'm Canadian, uh, and because you're, uh, Australian, European, American, or even Canadian, we don't have the same beliefs. We don't have the same religion. We don't have the same political views, the same ideology. So it starts with you and me and us cooperating. And if we get along and, and then I get along with somebody else and you get along with somebody else and uh, eventually it just grows and we can you know, make a difference. It's it's uh, it's sad to say I I don't think world peace is ever gonna fully be achieved in my time in my life. Uh, I wish it would, but uh, maybe in my kids in my kids' life, when if we can make a change as adults and we can instill things into our kids daily lives where there's no violence, no acts of violence, and uh, then, you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll change in the future. Here's, here's the hoping. So, I guess that's, uh, that's it. I mean, I'm, I wish there was world peace, because it, uh, it frustrates me to no end when people fight and uh, like countries and they bomb the shit out of each other and yeah it's so I don't know it's, <laughs> for lack of a better word it's stupid so I don't know all right so that's it that's my two cents worth on, uh, on world peace it is obtainable my, like I said my first thought was it is not obtainable, but once I actually sat down and thought about it, and I was like, yeah, you know what? If we if we start small, we can make a difference. So uh, here's the hoping that there is a, a difference made and we can live in peace. All right, well, thanks for riding with me. And uh, I'm gonna keep keep riding. Thanks for letting me participate in the uh, sink the planet. And uh, I look forward to watching everybody else's videos and seeing their take on it. <laughs>